Hi guys, welcome to another audio, video, and I'm reading Ephesians 6 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayst live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters, according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing with good will doing service as to the Lord, and not to men knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth the same shall he receive of the lord whether he be bond or free and ye masters do the same things unto them forbearing threatening knowing that your master also is in heaven neither is there respect of person with him finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the devil the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt, about with truth and having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with preparation of the gospel of peace above all take the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all pers- perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me the utterance may be given unto me that i may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which i am an ambassador in bonds that therein i may speak boldly as i ought to speak but that ye also may know my affairs and how i do tychicus tychicus a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord shall make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know all affairs, and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Alright guys, so in this chapter we see that we ought to be obedient, obedient to our heads, not just our heavenly head, but also to our earthly heads, because it is in so doing that the Lord will also reward us. And not because we ought to be the heads of them does not mean that they should treat us unfairly or unjustly. The Lord also gives them their order as well. And if they fail to carry out their orders, if they fail to carry out their part of the contract basically then they'll be answerable to god likewise children should obey their parents but if parents provoke their children to wrath they too will suffer the adverse sides of that right so with everything god gives us a measure he gives us something to keep us all accountable for our actions because that is how he is that is how he operates we all are held accountable for our own actions and he is guiding us as to how we can hold ourselves accountable for our actions and these are the ways in which we can do it he tells us that we ought to put on the full armor of god in putting on the full armor of god we'll have faith we will have the gospel of peace preaching the gospel of preach of peace we will have the spirit we will have the word of god we will have righteousness walking uprightly we will behave in a manner that's pleasing to god in all things 
these are the things that God is giving to us to help us to be to hold ourselves accountable to be able to withstand all that we may come into contact with because we know that we do not wrestle against just mere flesh and blood it's not just mere flesh and blood that we battle against every day but against spiritual things as well and so if we ought to fight the spiritual things we ought to operate in the spirit also hence the armor of god is necessary it's not something that we that is optional it's a necessity for us in our christian walk and in our christian journey and in our everyday lives right so guys i just want y'all to just take that into consideration and continue to walk in the way of the lord continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye